you'd be here for six months trying, and you know, you feel like oh, I just wasted all this money. You know, um, I want you to really, you know, if you ever do leave Apex, I, you know, I want you to leave a better trader, a happy trader. Um, I hope you're here for a long time and contribute to our community. That's why it's so great. But I just, uh, and it's hard because, man, I mean, binaries, I know it's like it's a new toy. Everybody wants to trade it. Uh, I'd say like 70 or 80% of the people that come in <laughs> Apex come in and they're like, I want to trade binaries. And, uh, yeah, so you have a full-time job. So, uh, but if we can pay for your education along the way, I mean, all you got to do is make 20 bucks in ten day, out of 10 days out of the month, you know, and you're only three, right? So, I mean, that's two points on NASDAQ or something. So, I mean, you can get two points on NASDAQ any time of day or night. I'm not saying you're going to win. I'm just saying, like, two points move is not hard. So, you know, obviously the educational cost is really cheap compared to any other profession. At the same time, let's see if we can possibly pay for it as you go. Even if it's spending like maybe 30 minutes or an hour on spreads and then hopping over and demoing binaries. You know, just I just want to bring that up because you know, I hate to see somebody cancel and quit because they're like, oh, binaries don't work, this didn't work, da 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 da. It's like, oh man, you just chose the hardest thing. So uh and um, and I personally, I trade futures. Um, I trade Nadex. I trade Forex on Nadex and Forex on futures. I'm not a real personally a big fan of trading Forex uh, spot just because it's not an exchange and the broker is trading against you. So I would rather trade somewhere where there's not somebody trading against you. That's also holding your money. Um, you can get a futures account, by the way. A lot of people know this. Um, let me get a screen up because we're going to talk about order prints here in a minute. But you get a futures account that's only like a thousand bucks. I don't know if y'all knew that to fund a futures account. So did y'all know that? It's only like $50 to fund a Forex account over at MetaTrader. And then you can use the free platform. You don't even have to rent, lease the platform or whatever. And then it's only like twenty-one dollars a month for data. So a lot of people like they, they think they have to have a ton of money. Um, and you know, I was actually talking to their broker yesterday and found out a few things. Um, you can do two demos you know, within ninety days for free data back to back. Okay, you can do it back to back. You can space them out, whatever you want to do. Um, when you're opening an account with Ninja Trader Brokerage. And that's not their choice, that's the exchange's choice, okay? The only way you could trade futures with $1,000, and still I would think you need to have like at least three would be if you're doing like micros or mini, like six ME, stuff like that, like M6E, things like that, like the mini um, FX, like in a few thousand dollars. So I'm saying that like you can open an account. A lot of people like, you know, they're, I'm just trying to tell you, like one of the things you want to do as a trader is you, you do want to open an account to make sure you have that live data. Um, and I mean, you can put a thousand in, you can withdraw 500 out <laughs> and just leave 500 bucks there to pay your $21 fee for your data. So it's, it's really not a big deal. Um, again, 50 bucks, you can fund a Forex account. You can put both of those in Ninja when you're, I'm not saying to go live. I mean, you can do that for demo trading and that's a great point, Lord. But just to get your data and so it's always consistent and they cut the demos off you know, constantly, and of course, they cut the data off earlier. So, um, and they give more attention, of course, to the live data for obvious reasons. And a lot of people go, oh, man, that seems like so much money, but they don't know that it costs over 300 bucks a month to buy all that data and pay for it outright. So by funding an account, you save literally several thousand dollars a year. Um, if you're trying to fund a futures account, the things that they're looking for, not that this is going to get you approved for a futures account, but this puts you in a in a better probability of getting approved for one. Is they're usually looking for somebody who you know states that they make at least you know thirty thousand a year, has twenty thousand, even fifty thousand, even better net worth. Um, that's things that you can liquidate, you know, like pretty easily, pretty quickly. Um, ideally, you have like twelve months of trading experience. If you don't, they'll have you. They'll send a form out to your application just to sign and additional risk disclosures and say this is risky, obviously. 
obviously. Um, 20 ages, you know, 22 to 64 um, is usually the ideal range. If you're outside of that, then again, they, there's another step usually with an additional risk exposure or something of that sort. Um, and that you've been at the same address, like uh, like on your credit report, you know, it'll show the same address um, as like a utility bill that you have. Um, I found that Phillips is a little easier for a lot of traders to get, you know, pass through because I mean they w always will be, but and it's also a little, seems to be a little faster uh, as far as the uh, clearing firm. You have a broker like an industry brokerage, and they handle. Uh, your business, they monitor the risk, and then the clearing firm holds the money in a segregated account. Remember, this is just a deposit, it's not a cost, okay, except for the 21 bucks for data. But I mean, compared to three thousand dollars, that's really good. And then, of course, the broke the clearing firm handles you know all the clearing with the exchange, deposits, draws, you know, tax statements, all that fun stuff. Uh, it takes maybe 15 minutes to do the application. So, and the cool thing is, Ninja uses uh, CQG, which is true tick data um if you pay for it at kinetic you get the same data but you'd be paying for a few thousand dollars a year whereas places like trade station and stuff you know they use grouped data so when markets are fast and stuff you don't get all the detail but um you know the aggregate they use aggregate bars so it was i just wanted to give you all that information so you know if you're looking for you know, an account, where to go, how to get it set up, even if you're only a Nadex trader, just to have that stuff set up so you don't have to worry about your data and all that stuff. Um, it's really one of those steps that you need to take. So, and um, of course, you can trade anywhere you want to. It's just what I found is Ninja, if you buy the Ninja license eventually, okay, you don't have to buy it up front, but if you do, it is actually cheaper than the other. Some people go, well, if I got a thinker swim, that is free. Well, if you're trading there, no, it's not because you're paying a lot more money. In commissions but um but let's see here yeah i mean jason so you're paying for a kinetic connection okay doesn't have as much back data a cqg all right and if you just go fund if you put a thousand dollars in and fund a futures account like i said you can pull 500 out then you're not paying. I mean, you get literally it's, it's 50 bucks for Kinetic. It's another 91 dollars for CME. Another 91 for Nymex. Another 91 for Comex. I mean, you're talking over 300 dollars a month to get all the data for the different markets. At least 100 plus a month just to get one of them. So why not save the money and just fund an account and only pay 21 bucks a month? So like, do you want to pay you know 250 a year or do you want to pay 3,000 a year? So, uh, and yeah, you can, you, I'm not saying you can't get accepted if you don't meet those requirements. I'm just saying those are the requirements that put you in a higher probability if you meet them. So like one person who said, hey, I told Dorman I was unemployed and they still accepted me. So there are definitely exceptions. I just thought I'd make some good uh, tips and tricks for you. <laughs> yeah, just, hey, you, you had to sign a, an additional thing saying you didn't, you know, yeah, additional disclosure. So there you go. Find a dormant account. Perfect. Okay. So, so, and I mean, you can flip a trade, one trade, like boom, in, out. So, I mean, literally. Um, so, so, yeah, if you tell people to put it for that data, that's probably not going to help you out too much. It's probably not the best idea. So, anyways, I just, you know, not really a sales pitch, more just tips. I mean, fund wherever you want, do whatever you want, but, yeah, I mean, they just have a lot of regulatory guidelines. They have to make sure, you know, um, they do everything they need to. Dorman is awesome. Phillips is awesome. You know, um, somebody asked me, I usually say Phillips, but whatever you prefer. So, and if you're pure Nadex, you still, uh, you know, fund an account just so you can have the data. So, um,
Five five dollars a tick. I would I would tell you to go over to Nasdaq spreads. I right, still fund a futures account to get the data, but I would trade the spreads so that way it's one dollar a tick, ten dollars a point. So basically, it's half the value. Then I still I I usually recommend like three thousand dollars at least once you feel comfortable with that risk capital. Um, when trading, I know. A lot of it started with less, and I'm not saying people don't make it. I know people who do. Just, you know, I talked about that yesterday, too. So don't want to repeat everything I said yesterday. Um, we only got a little bit of time. So, all right, let me see here. Anyways, that's just, a, you know, and if you're looking for, you know, how do you sign up for that? What do you do? Then uh, a couple things for you. One is just go to uh, Ninja Trader Brokerage. dot com, and then you can you know sign up for an account. So get started right there. Okay, you can sign up for both. And again, you can use the free platform. If you put in Sim, you have all the features. By the way, so. And then um, a contact, if anybody wants one about, you know, questions about opening an account, um, Walter Sled, um, Sleds, I'm sorry, Walter Sleds, and his phone number is 312-262-1257, again, that's Walter Sleds at 312-262-1257, and uh, he'll help out any, you know, Apex, or he'll help out anybody, but... Um, he knows who Apex is, and you know, he'd be happy to help answer any questions you have about opening an account. So, now I also do futures as well, so I don't just do Nadex, so I'll get that impression. But, um, anyways, let me so go ahead and you know, check that out if you haven't. Versus trying to, you know, always get demo feed, demo feed, demo feed. Just fund a live account. <laughs> um, it's just it's one of those steps you need to take as a trader, and you should expect to take. So, um, and then it doesn't mean you have to trade it. You can, you know, don't trade till you're comfortable trading live. You know, you can trade on Nadex, work your way up, you can do whatever you want to, but just fund it to get the the data taken care of. So, all right, I'm gonna wrap that up. Just a you know quick lesson.